Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is Reprise now back débat. in session. Before we hand over the floor to counsel for Mr. Yensari to put Yen questions to the civil party, la the chamber wishes to remind Mr. M. Un to be patient when responding to questions. The chamber has already informed Mr. M. Un already that uh, you are before the court and you are being cross-examined by parties to the proceeding. And please compose yourself. Be patient to respond to each and every question posed by councils or parties. The Chamber wishes to also remind you to be attentive to the questions and try your best to respond to the questions other than making some other comments that are not uh, relevant to the questions. It is a waste of time and it causes some confusion as well. So we would like now to hand over to counsel for Mr. Yingsari to proceed with his questions. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honors. Uh, good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom. And again, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, let's pick up where we left off. And I want to refer to your testimony of the 23rd of August, 2012, Khmer page 80, French 92 to 93, in English it's 89. And it would be uh, right above 15.19.04 uh, on the clock. And your answer here, and you touched on this a little bit earlier uh, when you were being questioned by the Nunchia team, I saw foreigners. Chinese and Koreans who came to provide medical training at the hospital, and Mr. Tun Tun was very good at that. I saw him who gave training, and I still recognize him if he would be standing here today. He was of a medium build. He taught us about the scientific medical matters, and the Korean and Chinese also assisted us with the operation techniques. Now, from this answer, sir, it would appear that Mr. Tun was, in fact, providing you with training. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Response, yes, it is. And when you say oui. that he was very good at it, Vous dites il uh, le très bien. can you please tell us whether he also explained, -vous nous si as part of the training, the importance of being a doctor and the importance of providing good medical treatment? Response. He did not explain this to us. Well, did he explain to you that you should not be good doctors, that you should not be ethical? Response. Response. Uh, I don't recall having heard him saying this. Was the medical training that you received in Phnom Penh 
under Mr. Tun Tun or the Korean or Chinese or others who are teaching you, did they teach you proper medical techniques, at least as far as you understood them to be? Response. These individuals provided us with proper medical training. Now let's look at another portion of your testimony, same day, Khmer page 90 to 91, French 104, English page 101, and again this is right above 15.53.21. You tell us the following. Upon my return from Phnom Penh to my base, Sector 20, I went back to my own, my own office and I was in charge of training of other medical training and I was also in charge of the political training sessions for people at the base as well. And I also went to inspect other hospitals as well when time permitted. I would go to see if there was an outbreak of disease or epidemic diseases in other district hospitals. Let's focus on this answer of yours. Uh, aside from the medical training that you performed back at the base at Sector 20, could you please explain to us the political training that you were providing at these sessions to the people at the base? Response. I used to give some instructions and advice to our people on the hygiene or sanity. So I provided uh, some training sessions on this aspect. All right, so when you talk about political training, at least the political training that you were involved in Question. was on Donc, hygiene and proper sanitary living conditions. Et, et is that, is that what conditions your answer is? Est -ce là votre réponse? Man. Response. Yes, it is correct. Réponse, oui, exact. <laughs> and who authorized you to provide this sort of political training. Response. Taot, the head of the hospital at Sector 20, who ordered this. And can you please tell us which other hospitals you would go to to inspect them and to see whether there would be outbreaks of diseases or epidemics? Where would they be? Response. I inspected uh, the hospital at communes. I remember going to Kanchiriet commune in the Kanchiriet district, Smao Kangtbong of Kamchaimia district. And with these hospitals similar to the one at Sector 20, where you were located and where you were practicing. Et ces hôpitaux étaient semblables à ceux de, du District 20, à celui du District 20. <coughs> With regard to treatment at commune level, they did not have uh, 
proper medicine as those at uh, the provincial hospital. They used uh, the rapid uh, pellet medicines. All right. Now, uh, prior to 1975, were there proper hospitals in that area? Question. Avant. Avant 75, y avait-il de bons hôpitaux dans cette région? Response. Réponse. Prior to 1975, Avant in 1975, zone 20, says the civil party, there was 20, a proper hospital. Il y avait All right. un bon hôpital. Now, I want to focus on another part of Question. your testimony where you indicated about operations and experimentation. So let's focus on Khmer page 78 to 79, French page 91, English, 90, uh, English 87. This is again of the transcript of the 23rd of August. De votre du 23 août. And I want some clarification here, if you would provide it to us. Que vous nous you were asked, précision. were there any medical operations si operation conducted on people as part of experiment? Ont été menées en guise And your answer vous is, vous at the 17 April Hospital, avril, or Cambodia Soviet Friendship Hospital, there were medical doctors who were from Sector 20. Sector it was the largest hospital in the country back then. Le plus gros I did pays. not witness any medical Je operation, but I did see this happening at Je the base, vu à la base, when people who were expected to be executed had to, had to go under medical operation as part of the experiment. They were operated on alive. And then later on you say, the truth is that I was also involved in this. And then you go on to say, and trainees would be asked to look at how the fingers would be cut and removed. So let's look at this, this part of your testimony. You did not see any medical experimentation in Phnom Penh. Is that correct? Vous n'avez vu aucune expérience médicale à Phnom Penh. C'est exact. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. C'est exact. I only witnessed such medical experimentation in sector 20 at the military hospital in that sector. And sector Question. 20 is where you were working. Response. Yes, it was. Exact. I worked at the I worked I worked at the mm, normal people hospital general hospital je, but je then I saw general, this happening at the military hospital ce que, ce que décrit, But then you go on militaire. to say Question. The oui. truth is I was all I was also involved in this And so can you please explain to us to what extent you were involved in experimenting on live patients? À des expériences sur des patients en vie. Response. Response. This suggests that I uh, saw the people who were this then to be executed uh, would then Cela be used for these medical exper experimentation ex where their parts of the body would uh, undergo the VV section. All right, well, help us out a little bit, because earlier question. I pointed out to where you said question, that when you returned to the base, you began training, vous dites, quand vous training people. 
à la base, vous êtes allé former des gens on medical techniques. sur les techniques médicales. You then go on on this part of your testimony Et where you say trainees, that is people that were being trained, les donc les personnes qui recevaient la formation, were being asked to look at how the fingers were cut and removed. On peut, on et on you say that you were involved in this. Et vous dites que vous avez à cela. Now you're telling us you are merely dites, observing en fait, at a hospital that you were not working. Dans un où vous ne pas. Can you please tell us honestly Je vous prie de nous dire, to what extent you yourself was involved in experimenting? At that time, Réponse. the involvement here was about seeing, Cette being there to see when people were cut, uh, their, their fingers uh, were cut and removed, amputés. their flesh were la chair. vivisected and removed. And the operation was on a small scale and a large scale. Il y avait de and we were there grandes opérations to engage in observing Puis, il the operation when it was being carried out. So we were told to look at this operation precisely before we could operate on any other person. Although they told us uh, that the Mais people could be destined for execution, but we had to operate on them uh, professionally. Exécutés, quand même All right, if you were there as a mere observer, can you please tell us soin. who invited you to go there to observe these medical techniques, particularly when you were already a trained medic or a doctor un with un some formé. 14 years of experience. Du haut de vos 14 ans d'expérience. Response. I think it is easily understood that uh, if a person who was perceived to be executed uh, then, the, after all, he would be uh, killed, so we just follow what the order or instruction would be rendered by the party. Sir, I'm asking you a very concrete question. You were there at Sector 20. You were there training both for, on medical techniques and on political ideology. De pratique médicale que I'm asking you for a concrete answer. Who invited you to the medical hospital for you to observe these operations? Give us a name. Le nom seule Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The person who allowed me to bring trainees to the place was the party, le party. Uh, of that uh, sector and also secteur. people who were in charge of the hospital. Et ceux qui étaient responsables de All right, but well, based on that answer, let me just press a little bit. Are you saying you were voluntarily going there que vous as an observant? De votre or were you being ordered to do so? Ordonné de le faire? Response. As a trainer, we had to be with trainees. Les formateurs and avec les the, where the trainees uh, uh, had to perform anything, we had to Et be abided by the order by the party. So the head quoi que ce soit, of uh, the party at that location was the head of the hospital.
who ordered us. And who is the head of the party, who is head of the hospital, who is ordering you? That's what I'm asking. Because presumably, that's the person that was ordering you to go there to make these observations and to train others. Response. I think uh, you should understand Response. that everyone had to Vous obey the order. No one was uh, more powerful than the head of the hospital. It était... was the head oui. of the hospital who ordered us to do this, so we just followed uh, that person's orders. À ses ordres. Let me ask question. it one last time. Who is the head of the hospital? If you don't know, si vous ne savez say pas, I don't know. Give us a name. Pas, au moins un nom. Who? What is the name Quel of the person de that was the head of the hospital that was ordering you there, sir? Response. Réponse. Well, the, that person was Taot. C'était Taot. Thank you. Now, if we look on the next page, you were asked the question, who ordered such operations? You've just told us who ordered you to go and observe these operations. And so now I would like you to answer the question which you did not answer before. Who ordered such operations? And for the record, I'm referring to Khmer page 79, French 91 to 92, English page 88, and it's right below 15.15.20. Response. The person who ordered such operation was the party, the party representative for the hospital within that sector. Again, if you could provide us with a name, sir, you know what I'm asking. Please provide us that information. So I can move on to the next section dire, and not have to ask the question five more times. Le nom, comme ça, je pourrais passer une autre série de questions plutôt que de vous répéter ma question cinq fois. Response. I don't know whether you have obtained this or not yet, because I said si that Taot was the head of the hospital and the one who ordered all this. Donné, donné Thank you. And Merci. where is that individual today, Et où if se you know? Cette si vous le savez. Response. Who is the head of the I do not know whether he is still alive or deceased. All right. Now, is Taut, is that his alias or is that his real name? Response. I do not know whether he used other names, si but I knew noms. him to have only this name, Taot. All right, thank you. Now, let's Après move on to another topic, Merci. the topic of Bore Kilai, where you've told us you've received some training, Vous some political training. And the question that I'm most interested in is whether you saw Mr. Ying Sri. So let's look at some of what you've said so far. On transcript of 23 August 2012, which is page 79 in 
Seven, I mean, 70 to 71 in Khmer, 79 in English, en and for the French, I must et, apologize, et I don't have it, but it would be right below 14.27.16. You were asked a question, and then this is your answer. Question, at the time, I saw, at the time, I saw Comrade Paul Pot, Paul Pot, and I saw Ms. Nunchia, Ms. Cusapon, and I am not sure whether or not I saw si Mr. Ying Suri. This is what you said then. Ce que vous avez dit ce now let's look at your testimony from yesterday. Citer votre déposition and you were initially asked by the prosecutor Au début, the following. Did you ever see Mr. Pol Pot, si Ying Sri, Nunchia, or Kyu Sampan when they were there? And this is on page, on page 19 of yesterday's transcript. It would be right below 09.52.37. So did you ever see? This is the question being asked by the, Donc, the prosecutor the yesterday. Your answer is, concerning those four people, I have, I have met them, but very briefly, when I was attending political training at Borekila. So based on the question, it would appear now you're saying Donc, euh, that you met Mr. Ying Sari. Now let's look at, later on, right above 10.14.03 of yesterday's testimony on pa page 26 in English, where the same prosecutor says, at our hearing last Thursday, you mentioned Yunyat, Pol Pot, Nunchia, Kyusampan, and Hunim as being among the leaders who spoke or who delivered speeches at the political education sessions that you attended, and you said that with respect to Ying Sri, you weren't absolutely sure about him. Now, of course, in your previous answer, there's nothing about absolutely that was thrown in by the prosecutor. Let me ask you, before we go to what else you stated on this issue, as you sit here today, do you have an independent recollection of ever seeing Mr. Ying Sri over there during that political training? Response. Yes, I did see him. He did, I did not do, uh, do anything, but just saw him. All right. That's your testimony today. Très bien. So now you're certain. Aujourd'hui, aujourd before you weren't certain, you weren't certain. You weren't absolutely certain, but now you're certain. Maintenant, vous êtes sûr. Avant, vous n'étiez pas sûr. Okay. Pas absolument sûr, mais maintenant, vous êtes sûr. Well, let's see what you've what bien. you've said when you were filling out these forms. Voyons ce que vous avez dit quand vous avez complété ces formulaires. And we'll start off with. D22 slash 3963. And this is part of your supplemental information to the document to uh, file what with the documentation center of Cambodia. Il s'agit du document du The Khmer DCCAM, page is 00 information supplementary en Khmer 57 3976 to 77. 76, French 00 78 English 00 75 anglais 1867 This is what you say sir Voici ce que vous avez dit I saw Mr Paul Pot known cheer Mr Kusapon and Ms Inkterit there sur place Can you please point out to me sir where Monsieur, do you say that you saw Mr. Ying Sari there? Dites-vous Take your time. Yang Sari. Point it out to me. Prenez votre temps et dites-le moi.
would it be fair to say, sir, would it be fair to say, sir, that you didn't say anything? You don't mention Mr. Inkshiri there. Affirmer que vous n'avez rien dit. Vous ne mentionnez pas Monsieur Yengsari. Response. Réponse. I can say that uh, sometime in questions I may be mistaken and I saw some people in the leadership and I did see Mr. Yingsari but I just did not wish to mention this seriously and did not want to go further on that. All right. Well, first of all, let's look at this. Is this, sir, not a statement? that you yourself wrote out. This is the same one, by the way, where you claim that uh, you had no medical background. In fact, we're on the same page. You wrote this out, did you not? Response, yes, I did. So this was not in response to questions. This is what you put down yourself when you were trying to make an application to become a civil party, right? Response. Yes, it is. And when you file this application, were you not trying to be serious? Response. Well, I, I have been very serious. When I filed this application, I was very serious because I have lost my loved ones, and for that, uh, I have to lodge a complaint to voice my concern to make sure that my voice is heard concerning the suffering I have had endured. And I indeed saw these individuals, what they did, it's their business. <coughs> now let's look at D22-3963-1, which is the report on the civil party application. I believe it's dated 30th of April, 2010. Although it would appear that the application was signed on the 29th of January 2010, but here we see on the very first page, no, I'm sorry, here's what we see on, we see it on the second page, and this is only in English, my apologies, but the, the ERA number is 00573962. Here's what it says. He stated that during his study, he saw the presence of Pol Pot, Nun Chia, Kyu Sampan, and Ng Tirit. The President. Le président. The prosecutor, you may proceed. La parole est à l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le document Thank auquel you, uh, la défense de Yingsari fait référence est un document qui s'intitule « Rapport sur la constitution de parti civil ». C'est un document qui est donc préparé par le, euh, la section d'appui aux victimes qui se base sur l'original de la demande qui est donc celle dont on vient de parler, des 22 bar 3963. Je ne vois pas pourquoi la Défense doit relire un résumé qui a été préparé par un organe externe qui n'est pas un document qui a été validé en tant que tel par la partie civile elle-même et je crois que la défense devrait simplement se limiter à utiliser le document qui a été signé et qui vient de la partie civile, c'est-à-dire D22 bar 3963. Je ne vois pas en quoi euh, ce résumé fait par la section d'appui aux victimes ajoute quoi que ce soit au débat. C'est exactement la même chose, c'est un résumé euh, sur la base de ce qu'ils ont trouvé dans 
le formulaire qui a été déposé par la partie civile. Donc je crois que la défense devrait s'abstenir de doubler euh, ces citations qui, ne, à mon sens, ne servent à, à rien concernant le document D22-3963-1. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais être très heureux de passer, Monsieur le Président, mais le point que je vais essayer de faire, c'est que d'autres relient cette information. Donc, si c'est une information fausse, alors si ces informations sont fausses, alors il y a des informations aussi. Il y a des informations aussi. C'est-à-dire que le rapport sur la civil party application. Mais on va passer. Allons-y. 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 Document 230 par 2 par 4, 277A. Et le numéro de l'ERN number est 0050842426 French, en français, 0082222426. Seven zero to seven one. English zero zero seven 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 six two five. And here uh, you talk about in 1975. I worked. Vous dites, as a Khmer medic. I worked. Été not studied, but I worked. As a Khmer medic at the Russian hospital in Phnom Penh, then it was quite both outside and inside the hospital. At the time, I was sent to undertake the Communist Party policy at Borikilai. I saw and recognized the person who instructed us for an hour. It was Pol Pot. It was followed by Nun Chia, and then you mentioned also Chiu Song Pan. Nothing about the presence of Mr. Ing Sri, either as a trainer or being there. Do you see that, sir? Person present on the stage. Is that you see this passage? As for Ying Sari, I actually saw him uh, very briefly, en fait, vu and Council might Sari. have already uh, noticed that. Que and actually, uh, it took place some 40 years ago, so I lieu, il y a une have forgotten some of it, uh, it bases on my aspects. recollection. I have no way to keep a, a record of everything, of every souvenir. Uh, memory of the event that unfolded at that time. De tous les aspects des événements de uh, sir, my question is, do you see la question la suivante. you naming Mr. Inksari at, at being present there for giving any instructions? Citer Yang Sari comme personne Anything qui était présente do you see it there? ou qui a donné des instructions dans votre déclaration. Est-ce yes no? que vous it's avez either there on the paper or it's not? Est-ce que ça y figure? Oui ou non? Réponse. Uh, I uh, might have added uh, additional information to that because in my earlier statement I did not mention uh, him I did, uh, but later on I added that I saw him briefly. All right. Well, I've looked at all of your applications. I've looked at everything that you've submitted, and I can't find a single reference where you say where Ink Sri was there at Borikilai and that you saw him there during those training sessions. Can you please tell us when it was it that you mentioned this information and where can we find it? Et où peut-on les trouver? So much at low. Okay. 
réponse. Et you did not uh, see it in my si uh, vous statement pas uh, in those two forms. Uh, why are you asking me that question? 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 I only acknowledge nous that uh, these statements belong uh, to me, and I had to try to recall uh, the past event, and I could not at that time recall every detail of it. I had to provide supplementary information later. All right. Well, I can understand that with Mr. Sheri. Well, let me just go Je back to what you said earlier about Xavier. having no medical background. When you provided that information to DC Can, had Quand it slipped your mind because of the passage of years that you had absolutely no medical background for nearly 13 or 14 years, and that's why you put down no medical background? De formation médicale pendant 13 ou 14 ans, raison pour laquelle vous avez indiqué pas de formation médicale? The president, uh, witness, uh, please hold on. Uh, the prosecutor, you may proceed. Oui, j'aurais deux remarques, Monsieur le Président. La première, c'est le ton qui est utilisé par l'avocat de la défense de Monsieur Sari. C'est un ton que je pense euh, qui peut même être entendu dans la salle d'audience, qui est agressif. Et je pense que ce n'est pas convenable d'utiliser un ton pareil pour essayer de déstabiliser une partie civile. La deuxième chose, c'est qu'à propos de cette formation médicale, j'ai déjà fait tout à l'heure une objection à ce propos-là parce que le témoin, euh, pardon, la partie civile avait été très claire en disant « Je n'ai pas eu de formation médicale nécessairement formelle avec un diplôme, etc., mais j'ai eu des formations euh, sur le tas ou des formations informelles, etc. » Je vois que l'avocat de la Défense revient encore sur ce sujet. On a passé tout à l'heure une heure sur celui-ci. Euh, la partie civile a dit ce qu'elle avait à dire. Je ne crois pas qu'il faille encore revenir là-dessus en parlant de Borey Kela. Voilà. voilà mes objections, Mr. Président. Just very briefly, Mr. President. Très brièvement, Monsieur le Président. The reason I came back to it is because he claimed amnesia as to why he wasn't able to remember Ingsari all of a sudden. He does remember him, but in all the other opportunities he was given, he never mentioned him. Because things, obviously, after 40 years, he can't remember every detail. 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 Cette personne n'a pas dit la vérité au moment de remplir la demande de constitution de parti civil. The president, the objection and the grounds uh, for objection by the, de, by the prosecution uh, are valid and thus sustained. So, uh, counsel, please move on to the next question. Uh, you told us, sir, that you were forced to marry and that then you got a divorce. May I ask when it was that you got the divorce? Vous avez obtenu un divorce. 
À quel moment avez-vous divorcé Would like to discuss a bit on the uh, divorce. I know that uh, my uh, statement concerning my personal divorce affairs uh, might not be uh, conducive uh, to the court proceeding now. President, uh, witness, uh, you are instructed to respond to the question. I have already advised uh, you that it is a discretion of the chamber to decide whether or not you uh, should respond to the question. Otherwise, you should respond to all the questions posed by you, so you may proceed. La défense parle sans micro. The president. Et le président interrompt. Uh, I note the prie. lead co-lawyer for la the civil party is on his feet. You may proceed. Lawyer Pikang. Maître Pikang. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. Actually, this question has already been asked, and the Cette question a déjà civil été party himself have answered. La uh, to this question, civile, y a déjà and répondu. I understand uh, the president's uh, direction that uh, the civil party uh, has the duty to Le respond uh, to the question. Qui lui de répondre à la question. And I believe uh, that uh, then the uh, accused uh, should be uh, bound by this duty as well uh, to sens, respond uh, to the question uh, put by other parties. Aussi President, aux well, we understand Lorsque very uh, clearly that uh, if the civil party exercises his right to remain si uh, silent from the very uh, from the beginning, then we would not have summoned him to come to testify before this court uh, from the very beginning. So, if you exercise uh, the right to remain silent, then you should uh, uh, remove uh, the names of uh, the uh, civil party from the list uh, to be uh, appearing before the chamber so that it also saves the court time. So you may uh, examine this uh, case uh, again. I, I am afraid that you may be confused in terms of these uh, procedures before us. Que vous vous so counsel, can you may de vos continue. Actions. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me ask the question again. Uh, you told us Je vais poser uh, last à week, and I have the transcript pages, La it passée, was on the 23rd le 23 of... Uh, of August, Oot. on page 52 in English, à la page 52 en anglais. it's 40, 42 in Khmer, en Khmer. 56 in, uh, in French, en français. and then again, on the same day, we find it on page Khmer Et 93 to 94, au page French 103, 108 in English 104, where you talk about getting divorced from the wife that you were forced to marry. Du divorce avec la femme now, my question to you, sir, is a very simple one. Do you recall the year vous vous when you got divorced from that wife? Vous avez pu divorcer? Uh, Mr. Uh, President, uh, Mr. President, I do recall uh, the uh, date when we got divorced. Actually, I got divorced in Réponse. 2002. Divorcé en 2002. Uh, thank you. Now, if we could look at D22-3963, which is uh, the statement that you wrote out in your own handwriting, to the documentation center, Khmer page, pages 00-57-39-8-1-8-2, I believe, uh, English, 
0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 when you were providing the information to DC CAM, when you asked them to help you with your application to which you told us you were serious about. Upon returning to my village, the Anka was arranging my marriage with my current wife. Now, it would appear that when you wrote this out, it's 2010. Vous avez écrit ça en 2010. Oh, I'm sorry, it says supplemental here, it might have been Pardon January 20, 29, 2012. 2012. Ou plutôt le 29 janvier 2012, reprend l'interprète. So, were you being honest and truthful and accurate vérité, when you wrote out that it was the current wife quand vous avez écrit that you had been forced to marry. Que à votre femme actuelle que vous In other words, you didn't get a divorce. À vous or at Autrement least dit, you weren't aware that you had gotten a divorce when you wrote this thing out. Pas divorcé, ou tout au moins, vous ne saviez pas que vous aviez divorcé au moment où vous avez rédigé cela. No. No. Lawyer. I got divorced with my first wife in 2002, and then I married another wife. I did not want to dwell on this personal matter. I simply mentioned that I had my first wife and the second wife, but in my statement femme, earlier to your question, I did not distinguish femme, between the first and the second wife. Réalité, dans mes déclarations, je pas fait de All right, entre so when you femmes, put down here, my current wife, vous ici, that was a false ma statement. Femme actuelle, il it certainly wasn't fausse, accurate. Ou du moins inexact. If you consider it a false uh, statement, I Réponse, si do not uh, object uh, against uh, this Soit. Um, statement. Uh, of course, at that time, I made an error in à writing it. Commis une uh, thank you. La défense. Now, let's... I want to switch topics, and this is my last topic, and je passe uh, au I will go thème. very gently on this, but nonetheless, I'm je vais y aller compelled tout to doucement. ask questions, and Mais this is in regards to your father. Ceci concerne votre père. You state in D22-3963, and it's Khmer page 0057-3974-75-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-5-
French 0078-0068-6192-93 English 0075-1872 And this is supplemental information that was added. You state approximately in early 1977, my father was summoned by the ANCA to undertake study at the center. In parentheses, Sao Pim was the man who summoned him, in the parentheses, and he has disappeared since then. Do you see the difference between 74 and 77? Il y a dans un document 74 et dans l'autre 77. Do you see the difference, sir? Est-ce que vous voyez la différence? Response. Réponse. Here I stated that I provided the information to people who assisted me, people from BCCAM who brought the document to me for giving some print. Afin que I did not have time digital. to review this Je pas thoroughly. Eu le temps de relire the ce document de manière approfondie. 77 would not be the correct one. I prefer the other statement which says 1974. 74 I think the exact. story is still the same. The problem is même. that the date was not correctly input. All right, let me make sure I understand it. Uh, you're saying that your father was taken away in 1974. That is what you, that is based on your recollection and knowledge. I think I need to elaborate on this to clear some doubt. I believe that the documents are here before us, and at that time I stated that my mother died after she saw her, her husband was taken away. So I just stated that my mother died after ma mère, she witnessed uh, my father being taken away. So I did not state père, that my mother died in any particular year. So it is true that my mother died after my father was ma taken away. Après que so mon père ait été emmené. I believe that uh, the date was not specified Mais in my statement, so it was not correctly put. But again, the veracity of the story is still there. It's still true that that was the event, Vérité. and I had a mistake for not paying Et great attention to verify the date when uh, it was si written. All right, well, let me, let me go back. And again, I apologize for having to dwell on this, but both these documents, the first one, which was of 29 January 2012, which was to DC CAM, D22-3963, at Khmer pages 0057-3974-75, French 0076-6184. English 0075-1866-6192-93.
1966. Where you say, où vous dites, the first document where you say 1974, you wrote that out. Ce that que was in vous aviez your handwriting. C'était le document que vous aviez rédigé de votre propre main, n'est-ce pas? I think I need to be more precise here, uh, precise here before I uh, will be put more questions on this. The dates were not really properly put, and I uh, have a problem remember the exact date, and I apologize for this. The president intervenes. Uh, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Civil Party. We should now observe a brief uh, adjournment uh, before we could uh, resume. We adjourn for 15 minutes. Court officer is now instructed to assist the civil party during the break. Some culture.